Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Shlishi, Daf Chaf Dalet Aleph, Chapter 3, Page 24a. Call in Turin Hood, Fei Adif, whatever is done to protect them from loss is more worthwhile than uh, having them being disrespected. The Hecha Manach Lehu, and where may one place it fill in? Ama Rabbi Yirmiya, Rabbi Yirmiya said, Bain Kar Lacheset, between the mattress and the pillow, Shelok and Neged Roshan, not directly opposite the head. Bahatane Rabbi Yechia, Rabbi Yechia has taught a Baraisa, Manichan Bechova Tachat Marishota, one may place it fill in in a pouch under his headrest. De mapik le le morasha te chova levar. That one draws the bulge of the pouch, that is the part that actually has the tefillin in it, beyond, so it draws the bulge of the pouch beyond. That is, um, it comes out from under the pillow, so it doesn't actually lie directly on the tefillin itself. Bar kaparat sayer le ho bechilta, bar kapara would wrap the tefillin in the curtain. The curtain around his bed. Umapik le marshihon levar and would draw their bulge outward. Rashi shabere de ravidi manach lehu ashri ashar shifa. Rashisha, the son of ravidi, would place the tefillin on a stool. Ufaris sudara ilvayehu and spread out a scarf over them. Amma Rav Hamnuna, Bereda Rav Yosef, Rav Hamnuna, the son of Rav Yosef, said, Zim nechada hava ke'im na kameda Rava. I was once standing before Ravra, but Amali, and he said to me, to me, Zil aite li tfilin, go and bring me my tfilin, v'ashkach tinehu ben kar lachesed shelo keneged rosho. And I found them between the mattress and the pillow, not exactly an, uh, Underneath where he rested his head, Bahava Yadana Diom Tvila Hava, and I knew that it had been his day of immersion, that is, his wife had been with him the previous night. Well, Agmuran Halacha Lama Sehudavar, and it was to teach me the Halacha in actual practice, and that's why Rava did this. Merav Yehuda, Rav Yosef, the son of Rav Nechunya, asked Rav Yehuda, Shneim sheyashinim b'mita achad, two people are sleeping in one bed, that is naked in one bed. Ma hu shezeye chazir, panavi krakriyat shma. What is the law as to whether this one may turn his face away and recite shma? Bezeye chazir, panavi krakriyat shma, and this one may turn his face and recite the shma. Amale said to him, Hachi Amashmuel, this is what Shmuel said, Vafilu Ishtoimo. So you can do this even if it's your wife who is with you. Mad Kifla, Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef rejected to this. Ishtovelo mi baya acher, his wife, and there is not a need to say another. It is permitted with another man. Adarava, on the contrary, Ishto Kegufo, man's wife is like his own self. Acher la Kegufo, another man is not like his own self. So you can only turn your back to your wife and say Shema, only if it's your wife and not with another man. Metive, they challenge this. Shneim Sheshin Bimitachat, two people are sleeping in one bed. Zemachazir Panavekore, this one may turn his face from the other and recite Shma. Vezemachazir Panavekore, and this one may turn his face away and recite the Shma. Vetanya Achariti, it was taught in another Baraisa, the country. Hayashen Bimita, if one is sleeping in a bed, Uvanavu Veneve to and his sons and members of his house. Householder at his side, Hareze lo yikra kriyat shma, he may not recite the shma, Ela im ken haitatalit, mafseket benehen, unless there is a cloak that interposes between them, the im hayuban vanavo veneve tok tanim, if his sons and members of his household are minors, mutar, it is permitted to recite shma even without a cloak between them, bishla mala rav yosef lokashia, this is understandable according to rav yosef, there is no contradiction. Haba Ishto, the first is with saying Shema with his back against his wife. Haba Acher, and this Baraisa is 
regarding uh, requires a garment between himself and another man. But according to Shmuel, there is a contradiction. He doesn't make a differentiation. Amar Lach Shmuel Shmuel will say to you, the Rav Yosef Minicha is it right according to Rav Yosef Atanya? But it was taught in the second Brisa. Hayayashem b'mita if one is sleeping in a bed. Ova navuv nei beitov b'mita and his sons and, and members of his household are also in the bed. Loi krakriat shma he may not recite shma. Ela im ben im kain haita talito maseket benehen unless his clucking interposes between them. Ela may it lach lemeima. So what can you say to defend Rav Yosef? Ish dola Rav Yosef tana ehi. According to Rav Yosef, with one's wife, it's a matter of dispute between tanaim lididi nami tana ehi. And according to me as well, it is a matter of dispute between tanaim between one's wife or anyone else. I'm just going to scroll down. So we're about halfway down the page where the two dots are. So we're twelve, about five lines from the top of the screen, and at the two dots starting Amama. Amar ma ze machazir panava kore kriyat shma. This one may turn his face and recite shma. Vehai kagavot. But there is a problem of uh, buttocks touching each other. Masaya le le ravhuna. This brace supports ravhuna. Jama ravhuna. If ravhuna said agavot ein bahem mishum ayrva. Buttocks are not subject to uh, nakedness. Lema. Lema Messiah Leila Ravhuna let us say the that the following Mishnah supports Ravhuna Haisha Yahya Haisha Yosheva Bekutsala Khalata Aruma a woman may sit and separate her khala well um while she is naked. Mipnei she chola lechasot paneha bekaka because she's able to cover her face on the ground. That is her lower face on the ground. Avalo haish, but this is not uh, permitted for a man. Tirgema Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak interpreted the Mishnah kegon she hayu paneha tuchot bekaka. Where her face, her lower face, is completely flat against the ground, this applies. Amar Mar, the master said, Im hayu banav tanim. If his sons and members of his household are minors, mutar, it is permitted to say shma while lying next to them. But I'd come out until what age are they considered to be minors? Amar Rachista, Rachista said, Tinoket bat shalosh shanim v'yomechad, a girl until the age of three is one day. Tinok ben teisho shanim v'yomechad, a boy until the age of nine years and one day. Iket amre, others say tinoket bat achat esra. Shana be yomechad a girl until the age of eleven years and one day. Vitinok ben shteimas esra esra shana be yomechad and a boy twelve years and one day. Idi vi idi ad kade with regard to both until they reach until they reach shadim nechono u saarech tzimach breasts developed and your hair grown. This is from Yechezkel uh, 16.7, and the Ritva comments on that. Amale Rav Kahana le Ravya Ashi, Rav Kahana said Rav Ashi, Hatama Marava, there Rav said, Af al Gav Detiuv Ta Dishmuel Hilchata Kavate Dishmuel, even though refutation of Shmuel's ruling. The halacha is in accordance with Shmuel. Hachamai, hear what is the law. Amale, Ravashi said to Rakana, Atu kulhu bechada machta machtinehu. Have you woven them all in the same weave? Ela, hechad itma itma. Rather, where it was stated, it was stated, Vehechad lo itma lo itma. And where it was not stated, it was not stated. Amale Rav Mari le Rav Papa Rav Mari as Rav Papa se'ar yote bevigdo mahu 
if hair is protruding, protruding, <coughs> excuse me, protruding out of one's garment, that is pubic hair, what is the law? Kara Ale, Sir Rav Murray gave an answer to Rav Papa. He said in reference to him, Se'ar, Se'ar, hair, hair is of no consequence. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak. Rabbi Yitzchak said, Tefach Beisha Erva Tefach, a Tefach of exposed skin. In a woman is nakedness. Lamai, regarding what was this? Ilema, Leis Takule, Ba, if he says with regard against gazing at a woman, this can't be the Ha'amar Rav Sheshet. For Rav Sheshet said, Lama Lama Mana Hakatov Tachshitin Shebachut Im Tachshitin Shebifnim. Why does scripture list the outer jewelry together with the inner jewelry? Lama Lecha to teach you. Call Hamista Kelbe Etzbak Tana Shel Isha. Whoever gazes at the little finger of a woman, Ki Ilu Mista Kelbim Pom Hatoref, is like one who gazes at the place of nakedness. So even if you look, if you gaze at the little finger of a woman, it's like uh, thinking about her as being naked. Rather, in reference to one's wife, and the recital of Shema was the statement made. Rav Chista said, Shok be'isha erva, the thigh of a woman is nakedness. Shnemar gali shok ivri neharot, expose a thigh and cross rivers. Uchtiv, and it is written, Tigal erva ter gam tera e herpa ter, your nakedness will be exposed and also your embarrassment will be seen. Amar Shmuel, Shmuel said, Kol, sorry, that was from, that was from, I think, from Ishayahu. Yeah. Ama Shmuel. Shmuel said, Kol Bisha Erva, the voice of a woman is nakedness. Shne as it is stated, Ki Kolech Arev Marech Nave, for your voice is sweet and your countenance comely. Ama Rasheshe, Rasheshe said, Se'ar Beisha Erva, the hair of a woman is nakedness. Shne as it is stated, Sa. Sarech ke'eder ha'izim, your hair is like a flock of goats. Um, that is when uh, flocks of goats uh, come flowing down a mountain, come running down a mountain. It's like uh, tresses of a hair. Ama Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Chanina said, Ani ra'iti et Rabbi Shetala Tvila. I once saw Rabbi suspend his twilin from a peg. Metive, they challenged it. Hatole tfilav italu lo chayav. One who suspends his tfilin, his life will be suspended. Doshe chamurot amru, the interpreters of hidden meanings in verses said, Vahayu chayecha tloim lecha mineged. This is an allusion to, and your life will be suspended before you. This is from, um, from uh, Dvarim. Zehatolet filav. This refers to one who spends his suspends his tefillin. Uh, so if it's if it's prohibited to suspend tefillin, how could Rebbe have suspended his tefillin? Lokashia, there is no difficulty. Ha birtsua. This is a case where he suspended his tefillin by the strap, which is prohibited. Ha biktsitsa. This is the testimony, um, but hanging by the box. Is permitted the bait ema, or if you prefer, you may say loshna retsuwa veloshna ketsita asur. There is no difference between hanging to a by strap or the box. It is forbidden in both of them. Vechita la rabbi bechista tala. But when Rabbi suspended his tefillin, he suspended them by their pouch. He didn't suspend them by by the tefillin themselves so that was therefore permissible so he could hang up his tefillin like in the bag if this is so why is Rabbi Hanina testifying uh, that he did this you might have said the tefillin should require placement uh, on an object as like a Torah scroll as like a Rabbi Hanina uh, informed us, uh, so he said this, so that we wouldn't suspend them, uh, so we wouldn't suspend.
uh, the tefillin by their straps and only by their by their pouch. But Amar Rabbi Chanina, Rabbi Chanina said, "Ani ra'iti et Rabbi Shegi Shegihek." I saw that during a prayer, Rebbe belched, Rebbe burped, ufihek, and yawned, ve nit atesh, and he sneezed, ve rak, and he spit upon the ground, 